Things are finally getting better for her. For us. She's just coming out of her shell and out this. Do you really think it's related to her mother's murder case? I hope to God it isn't. Montgomery's friend was very clear. She starts poking around her mother's murder, they'll come after her again. I can't let that happen. More than you can pay. Oh no, I cannot give you. You know, I sometimes forget that you live with this every day. Josh know about this? No. When did you start? Over the summer, when you're in the Hamptons. And how far have you gotten? Well, aside from my mom, there was also Diane Kavanaugh, Jennifer Stewart. They volunteered for her from time to time for the Justice Initiative. And then the fourth victim was Scott Murray. He was a document clerk at the courthouse. You know, Castle, up until today, I'd always run this on the theory that they got killed because of a legal case that they were working on. My mom requested a court file just before she was murdered, and that file went missing. Well, your mom must have had personal papers, appointment book, something that could tell you what she was working on before she died. Oh, I went through all of that nine years ago. There's nothing. Yeah, but a lot's happened since then. Maybe you missed something. Through all databases, the lab is getting us information as fast as we can follow up. I thought there was a backlog at the lab. I have a federal fast pass, so I get to jump the line. Currently, we are running 35 solid leads based on DNA prints, trace evidence found from both crime scenes, and we're running it through the FBI data matrix. The... Yet another example of why you shouldn't mix business with pleasure, even show business. Are you talking about the case or yourself? <laughs> Yeah, touche, detective. So you want to go for a victory lap and grab a burger? Whoa, can't. Got to go. Big date. Well, as much as I'd like to help you run down every dark sedan in the city, I have a poker game to host. See you in the morning. See ya. So, Castle's last case, huh? Mm-hmm. Ryan and I thought we'd do a little going away party. Yeah, well, it's not like he's leaving forever. You sure about that? Why do you think he's been following you around all this time? What, research? The guy's done enough research to write 50 books. Look, whatever the reason is, I'm pretty sure it doesn't include watching you be with another guy. I served on the task force that investigated those six murders. An FBI profile was as close as we came to IDing a suspect. Feds say he's a white male, 25 to 45 years old. Could be me. With a dysfunctional relationship with his mother. Still me. He has a menial, unimportant job. Definitely you. Everything okay? Do I really do that? Yes. And it's adorable. If it's so adorable, why didn't you sleep with me? Her me, not me me. Oh. Well, a fictional character that I wrote based on you, played by Natalie Rose, it's just way too meta. I think I figured out who Solomon was paid to kill. Billionaire philanthropist Christian Dahl. How did you? Organophosphates, jet oil, airport. It's like we could be twins. Connection. Conjecture. All we know right now is that Dahl took off from Teterboro Saturday afternoon intending to set a transatlantic speed record in his jet. Apparently something went wrong and the plane broke up midair. Witnesses out on an oil tanker on Long Island Sound claimed to have seen a white flash and smoke in the sky. Well, a midair explosion would account for all the C4 that Solomon bought from Chuck. And Magnus's remote triggering device. Well, whoever what a Christian did probably killed Solomon to cover up the crime. Except all we have now is speculation. Four, eight. 19, 41, and 79. I know it's a long shot, but if we can figure out what these numbers signify, we might be able to find the ticket's real owner. I'll play my kids' birthdays. I'll play my first sex and combat. I'll play his first, too. What? That way we both win and it's not awkward. Beckett? Uh, sorry, I don't play castle. But if you did, 
Well, it doesn't really matter, Castle. I mean, the fact is, Hickston won the lottery a year ago. If he stole that ticket, why didn't the rightful owner come forward sooner? Maybe the rightful owner is dead. Maybe Hickston killed him. No, no, it was just a little friendly hazing. To hear him describe it, it sounds like someone was trying to teach him a lesson. What? Why would I want to do that? Because you didn't want him to spend time with me? That is completely... True? Yes, fine. It's true. I'm jealous. There. I said it. I... I want you all to myself. And to have you spending time with another writer, that upsets me. And it... If that makes me petty, so be it. Guilty as charged. Actually, I kind of think it's sweet. You do? I do. And that's why you don't have to worry about me hanging around with Conrad anymore. From now on, I'm a one writer girl. Thank you. Always. Something going on with this house. The last people, well, to the last people that lived there moved out four years ago in a hurry. Why? I don't know, but I think it's time we found out. Knock yourself out, Castle. You're not coming? No, I've got a murder to solve. I'll go. Ooh, that's a look. Yeah. I get these a lot. Just start walking. Walk up. Faster. Lainey just called. She said that she found fibers in Laura's mouth and esophagus. The lab ID'd it as light brown cashmere, which was most likely from our killer's coat sleeve. Brown cashmere, so we can narrow our suspects down to rich men with impeccable taste. Are you saying you're a suspect? Alexis is my alibi. What about our gas company worker? Well, surprise, he doesn't work for the gas company. And Uniform said that there was no forensic evidence at the Dial a Goddess office. But what we did get from Dial a Goddess were their copious call logs, about 200 pages worth. Let me see if I can get a warrant for Belasco's place. Which place? The condo, the chateau, or the chalet? Hi, yeah, this is Detective Kate back at 12th Precinct. I'm calling for the writing ADA. Mm hmm. Yeah, okay, I'll hold. Well, it's kind of disappointing. I was really hoping that solving Stan's murder would give us some answers to what really happened to Joan Vera. Yeah, but we already know what really happened. Dempsey killed them both. Well, that's the obvious version. But what about Sally? What's her part in all this? And why would she hire Joe? Well, I guess we'll never know. What's going on? I was just thinking how we rely on dreams, too keep us going in life and how sad it is when they become the things that tear us down yeah well that might be the case for barbara landau but not for everyone with dreams that didn't come true i mean take laney for instance she wanted to be a dancer she became a doctor that's not so bad is it hmm. what about you i mean i know you became a cop because your mother was murdered but there had to be something before that what did little kate beckett want to be when she grew up at stanford i was pre-law so your dream was to argue a case before the Supreme Court. Mm -hmm. Yep, I was on my way to becoming the first female Chief Justice. Wow. Mm -hmm. Not bad. Thank you. Did you get any sleep? Knew our victim? We rechecked Orlando's rap sheet. Montgomery wasn't involved in any of his old arrests. That break in wasn't personal. What about the call he made before he was killed? It's from a burner phone. There's no registered owner. Hey. Hmm. You're not in this alone. I'm here. I know. Do you actually buy this whole just friends thing? It's possible. Yeah, it's possible, but it's not probable. Well, I don't know. You and I were just friends for four years. Yeah, except you were trying to sleep with me that whole time. What? Mm-hmm.
Excuse me, it was you that was trying to sleep with me. What? Don't tell me you dressed like that for Esposito. What's for me? Don't Nothing. worry about it. I'm tracking firms that Pratt was ticketed yesterday, but they can't be sure of what train he was on, so we're double-checking his alibi. Have them check on that cheese stick, too. It's no way that's the best in Philly. Anyway, even if it was him, it doesn't explain Wendy's mysterious emergency. The stolen cash, the sudden trip to New York City. Mm -hmm. Why, she would write lie? You don't write a dying message in blood just for kicks. There had to be a reason. Are you out too? Once more? Yeah, uh, you know what? I'll go get it. Oh. Thank you. Long Island Expressway. Literary Institute of Excellence. Love is everything. Oh, did I just say that? Getting soft. Listen to this. Angelica was scheduled for a bankruptcy hearing a week ago, but it was canceled because she made a $2 million payment to her creditors. That's right after the insurance company paid her claim on the bracelet. What if this whole thing was a ploy to commit insurance fraud? Mission accomplished. That's what Wendell said after the break-in. Mission accomplished. Right. He didn't say he actually stole anything. The mission was to make it look like a robbery. And the best way to make it look real, to fool the police and the insurance company... ...is to actually break in, yet steal nothing. And Helica set this whole thing up. And the only other person that knew was Wendell. She couldn't afford to let him or his sister expose her secret. I call that motive for murder and probable cause for a search warrant. So John Campbell was in town with a few days to kill. See what I did there? That was good. Use that. Don't use the part where I said, see what I did there. Cut that out. Do a heartbeat to black. Musical sting. Hey, so I heard from air traffic control, but you're not going to like the news. They have no record of anyone flying over the park during the time our guy hit the ground. How is that even possible? Santa had a slain stealth mode. No, I mean, after 9-11, how is it possible that someone can just fly over Manhattan? Sightseeing choppers do it all the time. There's this one time. It took a midnight loop around the Statue of Liberty with this Latin... ...publisher. No. He's right. There's a Manhattan flight card, which doesn't require you to radio in if you stay under 1,300 feet. My mother-in-law is a licensed pilot, as she keeps reminding me. Part of a larger effort to make me feel inferior. I'm sorry. Did I just say that out loud? Sounds like she's staying with you, Captain. One day soon, your in-laws will visit, too. And when they do, think hotel. Lord, I hate the holidays. Yet another quality she has in common with the Grinch. Sacrificed everything to redeem himself. It's too bad his past caught up with him. Still, those files are on their way to the U.S. Attorney's Office. Now the Cabots have a real shot at getting back what they lost. Along with the 42 other families, all because of Edmund. Oh, speaking of people having the home stolen. Is that your mother-in-law again, sir? Detective, if you happen to receive a report of a homicide tonight at my address, do me a favor. Ignore it. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> well, Castle, looks like you might have been right. Maybe there is a Santa Claus after all. Hey, have I told you how lovely your penmanship is? The font is just so friendly. I just look forward to seeing it. Castle, what is it? I just want to make sure you want to go to dinner with Meredith. Remember, she's a little crazy and, of course, dramatic. Ooh, miserable combination. What are you so worried about? I mean, it's just two people that you've been intimate with coming together comparing notes. <laughs> what notes? Seriously, though, what notes? Candace Mayfield, 25. According to your report, she is literally one of the last people to see Bo Randolph alive. Okay, so what's so special about her? As far as I can see, nothing. She's a kindergarten teacher. No record. There's nothing extraordinary about her. Except for maybe who her father is. According to the court documents, Candace Mayfield's real name is Candace Armstrong, Ronald Armstrong's daughter. Whoa, 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 whoa. Did this Ronald Armstrong, the founder of Voices for Decency, Ronald Armstrong? Mm-hmm. The one who's trying to bring down Bo's company. And Armstrong's daughter changed her name to her mom's maiden to get away from all the notoriety. Only Bo found out who she really was. So Bo lures her into a tawdry encounter, films it, and then uses the video to blackmail her. And if she didn't agree to get her father off of his back, Bo was going to show the tape. Candace knows that if that tape got out, it would ruin her life. It would embarrass her whole family. Bo uses the video to push her into a corner. She has no choice but to push back. She's our killer. 